Today I'm going to show you how to animate a texture and how to loop it to not see any cut. So let's see. Let's delete everything and add, for example, a plane. And let's open the shade editor in a new tab. First of all, let's select Material View. And now select Shade Editor. Let's press N to hide this. And let's create a new material. So let's use a simple texture. Let's get this and add, for example, Noise texture. And let's connect factor here. To have more contrast, always add color run. And now we can push the colors to see more contrast with this texture. We can make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to leave it something like that. OK, so we have this texture. And now I want to animate this texture, for example, in this axis, something like that. So to animate this, we need to add, after this, a mapping. I recommend you to use the shortcut with non wrangle. To enable this add-on, go to Add-on, Enable non wrangle. And now, if you select this and press Ctrl T, you add this to Node. And thanks to this, we can map, move this texture. For example, in this axis. We can do it in this direction or the other one. I want to need this one. We can do it also in this direction, Y and Z. So what I want is to animate X in negative. So let's stay at the beginning. I'm going to set 0 and create a single keyframe. And now I'm going to go at the end. So I click here. And I add, for example, minus 5. Remember, negative to go to this direction. And I select Insert Single Keyframe. Really important. Press T and select Linear. So we have all the time the same velocity. And now, if I press Play, we have this animation. A simple texture that displays in a direction. However, when we reach the end, we will see the cut. One, two, three. OK. We need to solve this. So how we loop this texture? I'm going to explain you how to do it. Look. I'm going to draw here an easy map. I'm going to press T to bring the pencil. So basically, we have the start and we have the end, right? The start is 0 frame and the end is 240. What we're going to do is to use two textures. So let's call the first texture first and the second texture second. So the first texture, we say that we go from 0 to minus 5. So we have to start from 0, and we are going to finish in minus 5 at the end. And the second texture, what we have to do to loop this, we need to finish at the same value. So the second texture, we have to go to 0 at the end. So we can loop this. However, we cannot add this value here because we need to go always negative. From 0 to minus 5 is negative. However, if we do minus 5 to 0, it's positive. So which value we have to use? 5. Because from 5 to 0, it's negative. It's subtracting. So now let's do this. We have already this path because it's this node as you can see. So the first one is this one. And now let's duplicate this with Shift-D. And the second one, let's stay in the beginning. Remember, we need to add 5. So 5, insert single keyframe, and go to the end. And we need to add 0. Insert single keyframe. Because remember, we need to finish at the same value at the end, like the first material at the beginning, 0, 0. And now we need something to make this crossover. So we are going to use a mixed color. And really important, use factor. If you use color, and here you use factor, it's not going to work. I tell you this because it happened to me, and I was going crazy not understanding why this wasn't working. So, factor, factor, or color, color. 
but have to be the same. And with this, this factor you can see here, we are going to do this path. Instead of doing this, what we're going to do with this factor, we are going to follow this material and later come back here. So we are going to use both materials. So at the beginning, very important, this in zero. So with zero, we are saying use this path. And in one, we are saying use this way. Okay, so insert keyframe at the beginning, zero, and now go to the end and select one. Insert keyframe. So we are going to do this. Remember, we are going to start here and then come back here. Thanks to this. So now let's check if this is working. Let's go to the beginning and press play. For now, it's working. And now here, okay, it's working, but we see something weird. Why? Because we didn't select linear in some point. So let me fix this. Let's select this, press T, linear, this one T, linear, and this one T, linear. Oops, not constant, linear. Now let's check if everything is working. Now you can see that we don't see anything where. Before we were saying something where. And now look at here, really important. Perfect, is loop. So this is the solution. Look how this is changing, this and this is changing at the same time. So to sum up, remember, we have the ways to materials and the first one, you select a value and you finish another value. And the second material, you have to finish at the same value that you start and have to be the same direction. So if you are using negative, here have to be negative. If you are using positive here, here have to be positive. And then with this, we go from one material to the other. So we do this crossover. That's the key to loop any texture in Blender. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So see you next video.